You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for yellow wood sorrel, Oxalis stricta. Yellow wood sorrel is so common that it can be found throughout North America, typically in unwanted places like cultivated garden beds. Several generations of plants complete their life cycle during each growing season. Soon after the leaves appear, the plant becomes covered with flower buds. The flowers bloom. After the flowers die, the 6 to 15 inch high plant is covered with seed capsules. The seeds mature and the capsules burst open, spreading the seeds far and wide to start another generation of yellow wood sorrel. Let's start by looking closely at the leaves. Yellow wood sorrel leaves are compound. The leaf, with its three leaflets, is at the top of a stem, a petiole. Each leaf has three sessile leaflets. This means they are joined at the base of the leaflet blade without any petioles, that is, short stems on the leaflets. The leaflet has a characteristic heart-shaped form. The veins, which are not too obvious, are palmate since they all arise from the base of the leaflet. Sometimes you may find the leaves have dropped downwards and have folded along their midline. Some field guides state the leaves close up at night. Flower buds begin growing shortly after the leaves have matured. The flower buds can be found at the top of a peduncle, a flower stalk. When ready, the sepals separate and the yellow petals hang down from the sepals. The flower stalk turns the opening flower to face upward. We can see several phases of flower bud development in this image. A bud hanging down, petals peeking out, a bud turning up, petals fully extended above the sepals. Now the petals begin to unfurl. Look at the arrangement of the flowers. Here, the flower stalk has divided into several smaller stalks, or pedicels, with a single flower at their tips. In this example, the center flower will open first, then the two other flowers follow a bit later. Can you pick out the different sets of three flowers? Flower peduncles and pedicels rise well above the leaves. Most yellow wood sorrel flowers are bright yellow and about one half inch across. Sometimes the plant grows with a variation. These flowers are a lighter shade of yellow. Notice how a plant with lighter flowers grows next to another plant with the more typical bright yellow flowers. Flowers close up overnight and when the day is cloudy. They reopen on a day with sunshine. The flower has five petals, except if there's a variation, like this flower which has six petals. Observe the fine lines leading to the center of the flower, where the ten stamens can be seen surrounding the pistil. After blooming, the flower's petals twist up and dry out. Here we can see a flower bud, a flower in peak bloom, a dying flower, and a new seed capsule emerging. The green sepals now enclose a developing seed capsule. Here are a number of new seed capsules of varying lengths, pointing upwards as is characteristic of yellow wood sorrel. The dried flower petals may remain as a cap on the seed capsule for a while. This image shows pairs of seed capsules growing on the paired flower pedicels. Here's a group of three seed capsules. Trace their pedicels back to the point where the peduncle has split into the three pedicels. Usually, seed capsules have fine hairs and sometimes they don't. 
A single yellow wood sorrel plant may be covered with the five-sided seed capsules, which grow to be about one inch long. Eventually, the seed capsules turn from green to yellow and to brown. They then split open to explosively eject their seeds up to four feet away. I'm curious to find what the seeds are like. As I pierce the seed capsule, I can feel the seeds inside tickle my hand as they spring away from me. Each tiny red-brown seed also has a white arrow that reportedly aids in seed dispersal. If we gently push the yellow wood sorrel's upper leaves out of the way, we can see the stalks. Each stalk seems to grow upward in stepwise fashion, with many splits along the way for new leaves and for new flowers. Notice the small white hairs. After the seed capsules mature, the plant dies. The stalks may turn a red color, and they flop over as they die completely. In the ground, yellow wood sorrel has a stiff rhizome with small roots along its length. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Oxalis stricta, also known as yellow wood sorrel. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of yellow wood sorrel, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.